to tell you all about the first trip Jim and I took to Dog Slaughter Falls. In case you all are wondering about Dog Slaughter Falls, it is in the Daniel Boone National Forest by Cumberland Falls. And uh, when we went to Cumberland Falls, it was about four or five years ago, we were wondering about Dog Slaughter Falls. We didn't know where it was at, and nobody that we talked to seemed to know where it was at. Nobody in the gift shop, nobody that was walking around visiting the area knew. And then Jim decided, we're going to go to the lodge and see if they know. And sure enough, someone there knew. They said, oh yeah, take Route 95 or Road 195, I think that's what it was. And it's the, uh, the trailheads on the right. It's about three or four miles into the road. So we go and we find the trailhead. And I noticed that the marker said four miles to Dog Slaughter Falls. And we're like, yay, here it is. And I saw the four mile uh, marker and didn't think anything of it. I thought, okay, four miles, not bad. Yeah, let me tell you something about four miles in the woods. It's a lot. <laughs> Four miles is a lot compared to the city. I mean, I, I know technically it's the same, but it's not. Not really. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. I've walked four miles in the city, and I don't really care for walking four miles, but it's a lot easier than in the woods. We took the trail, and at first I'm like, this isn't so bad. You know, the trail is nice, and the path is nice and clear. It's really good and looks well maintained you know that's what i'm thinking then we're going around bends and down rocks and we're having to step down steep areas and we're making sure we stay along the fall along the creek because uh we know the fall the, the fall i keep saying the falls we know the creek is going to lead to the waterfall so we know we're heading in the right direction well we're going down this trail and we're going down this trail. And we're going down this trail. And like I said, we're going up, down, around, down, up, down. And there were some points where we were wondering where the trail went. And then we had to cross the creek and we found it again. And I looked at my phone and there was no cell service. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. What if I break my leg? Or what if Jim breaks his leg? There's no way we're going to get out of here and nobody's going to be able to find us. Oh my goodness. We were about three and a half miles into this hike. And I'm thinking, there better daggone well be a waterfall at the end of this thing or I'm going to be really angry. <laughs> I was not happy. I was hot. I was tired. I was thirsty, which, you know, we had water, we had provisions, but still, you know, I was thinking of air condition, the hotel, and I was kind of getting a little hungry, and the only thing we had was M&M's, uh, and I think cheese crackers, peanut butter crackers, and water, and of course we had Coke, but I mean, I'm wanting a dinner, you know, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> And we're like I said, we were about three and a half miles in when I got was starting to get really uh, disgusted and disgruntled. Then I heard people. And let me tell you something. Before I tell you that, let me tell you this. There was no sign on this trail that anybody had ever been on this trail except us. Now, I don't know if that was the case, but it sure seemed that way. Usually on a trail, there's some kind of sign, like there's a water bottle, a Coke can, or a gum wrapper, something. There was nothing, absolutely nothing. So I guess one of two things happened. Either the people that took that trail deeply respected nature and picked up after themselves, or there was nobody ever took that trail. <laughs> but uh, anyway, three and a half miles in, we saw, we heard voices. And I'm like, Jim, did you hear that? And he said, yeah. I heard it too, and I got really excited because I was like, signs of life, you know. And I'm also picturing in the woods, is there going to be some animal coming out of here, you know. And But we didn't see anything except trees, the creek, and uh, the occasional fallen leaf. 
and we were hearing people and then there was uh, this one time when I saw across the creek my eyes aren't so good distance wise we saw I saw this thing that I thought was a snake skin and I said Jim that's a snake skin and he said no it's not I said yes it is that looks just like a snake skin it was just a really big leaf <laughs> Was freaked out because I was thinking if that snake skin a snake can't be too far off you know I was like where's the snake at and I'm looking around you know <laughs> we had a pretty good laugh at my expense over that one when we come across these people and then they happen to tell us uh, Jim asked them you know what trail they took did it ask them if they took the trail same trail we did and they said oh no just about five miles after where you all were at is a one mile trail one mile yep one mile so boy well we finally get to the waterfall and i was very happy that we took the trail of course i'd have been happier if we'd have taken the one mile but i'm glad we did it because we have awesome pictures and they will be in this video for you to see and i'm sure some of you all that are my facebook friends have already seen these pictures but anyway uh we go down there and it was really awesome and what really was fun was when we went behind the waterfall I had never done that before ever that was really cool and uh, I will leave a link below to that video and I'm pretty sure you all have seen it but it'll be there in case you haven't or if you want to see it again but it was fun and it was quite an adventure